If you want to create your own presets in Adobe After Effects, this is how. In the Effects and Presets folder, you have all of the built-in presets, and you can also make your own. So here's a test preset that I made, this cool colorama type of effect. So this consists of a Gaussian blur and a colorama effect. I have a full tutorial on this called Heat Map Effect in After Effects if you want to check that out. But if I want to save this as a preset so I don't have to recreate it every time from scratch, all I have to do is highlight the effects that I want and go to Animation, Save Animation Preset. This will open up my finder. It'll tell me where I want to save it. So you do have to save these in the After Effects presets folder. So in your documents or applications, find the After Effects application folder and find the user presets. You can put your own name for a folder in the presets or just create your own user presets folder by default. And you can name it whatever you want and press save. And now you should see your preset that you saved show up in the animation presets section. So here it is, heat map. I can delete everything off of this clip and I can click and drag this preset right back on. And it even includes all of the keyframes from the original. And if there was any expressions on the original, such as let's say I would have added an expression instead of keyframes for the phase shift by holding the option, clicking the stopwatch icon and doing something like value equals time times 50. This is just a simple expression that changes the amount of the current phase based on how many seconds are passing. So we don't have to worry about keyframes. It'll apply onto any length of a clip. This will also be saved if I simply just highlight everything, go to animation, save animation preset, and you can call it whatever you want. Just make sure you're saving it in the right folder, the After Effects application presets folder. And then in the animation presets, if I delete everything and add this on here, you should see that the phase shift is red. That means it has this expression on it. So if I ever drop that down in the layer panel, you can see that it has that expression. And if I want from this starting point, I can just change it around, change the math to whatever I want. My name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out hundreds of more in the playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.